Hello, my name is Nisha Holmes. I work as a senior consultant with Analysis Prime on the experts team. And today I'm going to discuss the Microsoft Office add-in enhancement of designer versus viewer mode for the first quarter of 2024. So the current restrictions are the new design view feature is deactivated for Datasphere only customers for the time being. I will discuss the worksheet designer versus viewer access and also the designer granting permission within the workbook. So as you can see here under the roles, um, there is a new add-in add -in for the workbook. Uh, under the roles where you can choose either create, read, update, or delete. Now designers of a workbook would have the, uh, should always be added as uh, update selected and there they have the ability to create report templates including layout and authorized changes uh, definition, in other words report template access and changes in the table configuration. Whereas viewers should have the read selected under the role. And that uh, allows them te template consumption and only authorized changes are allowed, um, such as only filter on uh, permitted dim dimensions. <clears throat> they can open existing workbooks and can plan if allowed by the workbook designer. Now, if there are no um, options selected under add-in workbook under the roles, then no permissions are assigned, and uh, so that person can't view or change workbooks cre created with the add-in. Now, as a designer, you can give designer rights for specific workbook to users without permissions selected in the role. And to do so, you would set those uh, you would set those settings within the workbook permissions, and I will go over that in a moment. Now, a more detailed look at this is that as a designer, you have all the permissions, which are reading and updating. You can create and update workbooks with all analysis functions, like filtering and sorting and planning, as enabled by default. Now, as a viewer, you only had read, read permission assigned. You can view existing workbooks, and, and you can only change the display options for a dimension, the number format, or execute existing planning triggers. Planning is disabled by default. If you create a new workbook, all analysis functions are enabled for this workbook, but planning is disabled by default. The SAC add-in cannot influence the right to store workbooks on a local PC. There is no change. Everyone can save workbooks locally. Saving of workbooks to the SAC tenant is not yet possible. SAP is working on this as a possible enhancement in 2024. Now, as a designer, you can grant permission within the workbook. And you can do it a few different ways. Um, in the filter dialog for uh, a dimension, you can choose more options and then allow viewers to modify the selections to allow viewers to change the filter for this dimension, which you'll see here. Uh, you can also enable planning for the model in the designer panel. Choosing plan and enabled in the context menu for the model in, in the designer panel, then users with read permission can plan for this model in this workbook. And then third, you can also select under workbook preferences that all users have designer rights, and that would give all. Um, this would include planning. So this uh, is a worksheet that I have built within um, uh, Excel using the Excel add-in. And to go over those options that are available, if we uh, select designer here, excuse me, workbook preferences, 
This is where you can choose, uh, a designer of the workbook can choose to have uh, all designer rights available. And if we go over here to um, the table, uh, we would enable planning here, which would allow even uh, read, view, uh, read access only viewers to uh, plan. And then as far as the filters, if we look at a filter, you can allow viewers to modify the selector selections here. So read-only viewers would be allowed to modify the selections if this is chosen. And finally, to get to the roles, um, you would look under, uh, go down to security here and select roles. And then you would select the role where you want to grant access. And uh, as you can see here in this one, the add-in workbook, no one has been, uh, no access has been granted, granted here. Now create and delete are placeholders for the future. Uh, you can certainly go ahead and select those if you'd like, um, but they serve no function and, and, and serve as a repository until those are enabled by SAP. Now this only covers the workbook access. Um, any other types of um, data access controls that you have set with the model itself will carry over um, into the Excel add-in. So I hope this helps and clarifies some of the designer versus uh, viewer access roles and how those work.